Thomson's atomic model. Firstly, let me teach you one important question. What is atomic model? Well, any atomic model explains two important features. It shows the structure of an atom. Secondly, it shows the arrangement of subatomic particles. For example, consider modern atomic model. According to modern atomic model, the nucleus of all atoms contains protons and neutrons. The nucleus is surrounded by a cloud of electrons. It means that electrons constantly revolve in this cloud around the nucleus. This modern atomic model is presented by Schrödinger. Remember that this is the atomic model which we study in modern chemistry and it is 100% acceptable. This atomic model explains the structure of an atom and it shows the arrangement of subatomic particles. Now to study Thomson's atomic model, let me take you back to 1897. In 1897, a prominent scientist, J.J. Thomson discovered first subatomic particle. He discovered negatively charged particles in cathode ray tube experiment. He called these negatively charged particles electrons. So remember that an electron is the first subatomic particle and it was discovered by J.J. Thomson. Thus this discovery of electron paved the way for the development of new atomic model and new atomic theories. Now what is Thomson atomic model? Well, to learn Thomson atomic model, remember these important points. In 1904, Thomson presented the theoretical explanation of atomic model. Secondly, in 1904, no other subatomic particles like proton and neutron was discovered. Thirdly, he considered an electron to be 2000 times smaller than positive charged particles. Now, Thomson Baba states that an atom is a tiny solid sphere. It means that an atom is like a ball. Inside this sphere or atom, there is a cloud of positive and negative charges. For example, consider this sphere. Thomson Baba states that this sphere contains a spherical cloud of positive charges and negative charges. Let me repeat it. Thomson Baba states that this sphere contains a spherical cloud of positive charges and negative charges. In addition, he compared his atomic model to a watermelon or plum pudding. For example, in the watermelon, the red part represents the positive charge of an atom, while the black seeds of watermelon represents the negative charge of an atom. Similarly, in plum pudding atomic model or chocolate chips cookie model, the biscuit part represents the positive charge of an atom, while the chocolate chip represents the negative charge of an atom. Remember that in the both cases, Thomson Baba considered an electron to be the smaller part of a watermelon and to be the smaller part of chocolate chip cookie because an electron is 2000 times smaller than positive charge. Thus we have learned that an atom is a sphere which contains a spherical cloud of positive and negative charges. Now what are the postulates of Thomson's atomic model? Well, here are two important postulates of Thomson's atomic model. The first one states that an atom consists of spherical cloud of positive charges and negative charges. It means that electrons are present inside this positively charged cloud. The second postulate states that an atom as a whole is electrically neutral because the number of negative charges is equal to the number of positive charges. For example, if there are 10 positive charges in an atom, then there are also 10 negative charges present in an atom. They both cancel each other and an atom as a whole is neutral. Thus, these are the two important postulates of Thomson's atomic model. 
Now, what are the limitations of Thomson's atomic model? Well, there are several limitations of the Thomson's atomic model. Firstly, the lack of nucleus. Thomson's atomic model did not explain the nucleus of an atom. Later, Rutherford revealed the presence of a small nucleus at the center of an atom. Secondly, the stability of an atom. It did not explain the stability of an atom. I mean, how the positive charge holds the electron inside an atom. Thirdly, theoretical theory. Remember that it was totally a theoretical theory. It was not proved by any experiment. Thus, these were the limitations of Thomson's atomic model. Finally, what are the significance of Thomson's atomic model? Well, the first significance of Thomson's atomic model was he successfully identified the existence of electron as a subatomic particle. Secondly, it was the first atomic model which proposed the existence of subatomic particles. Thirdly, Thomson Baba proved Dalton strong and challenged the idea that atoms were indivisible. Thus, these were the significance of Thomson's atomic model. I hope that you have learned all about Thomson's atomic model.